Welcome back everybody, Mostly Will here, and you are watching Try Not To Fail, Super Mario 64. When we last left off, we happened to take a little bit of a stroll through a certain ghost place. Why, it was Boo's House, I forget what it's called, it's like Boo's Shaky Shanty Shop. Something or another, but guess what? It's a birdcage, we're doing front flips into it, and we're gonna get ourselves some stars, cause Bowser's picking a fight with people he ain't going with. I really... Don't even start with me. I realize I wasn't pointing to you because I don't want to be antagonistic to you guys. We're friends, right? Okay. On a ghost. Go on a ghost hunt. Okay. I got stars that aren't even the right ones. If this was supposed to be so fucking easy, how do I find Boo? What am I doing wrong? How do you do this? Seriously. How do you, how do, you do this? See? Okay, I see Boo up there. What do I do? God damn it. Okay. Oh. Should I just get the red coin? Is that maybe? No, no, no. Usually red coin stars indicate red coin in some shape or form in their name, huh? Oh, what if I go down here? Oh, no. This is... This is just a carousel. Nobody likes this place. Oh, God. I don't want to do this. This is no fun. We're getting into like the stretch of lands that just just not as fun. Okay, wait a minute. Can't I? How do I pull Boo out here? See, ah, oh, come on. I know he's here. How do you? I'm just not putting something together. I know that's it. We don't have the blue block either, which is our invisibility cap. Our invisibility cap. He's not around at the moment, but if you'd like to schedule an appointment with a representative of the Blue Cap Invisibility Organization of Death, leave a message at the tone. Press 5 if you'd like to talk to my ass. Because I don't give a shit. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about this useless banter. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm literally stumped. I'm as stumped as a chopping down tree. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go from here. How do I get out of here? God damn it. Okay. Go on a boo hunt. I Okay, I know that there's one at the top of the building. Where you fight that boo, he gives you a star. And on the top of the building, there's also a box that has a star. I know that you fight a boo in the center room there, and he gives you a star. That one might be go on a boo hunt. But I don't know how to... Oh, there's this room. That's right. There's a room with coffins. We're gonna be getting all vampire on this shit, and we're gonna find ourselves some coffins. And that's that's kind of how this shit rolls, I think. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Fuck you. I just... No, 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 no. I fucked up the camera. Oh, shit. How do I... Guys, fuck. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm so smart. I'm a smarty! Don't tell me what I can and can't do. I'm a good boy. Three. Look at that. We already got three motherfuckers. Alright, we're gonna go through each room like it's fucking going out of style or some shit. I know we could at least get the red coin star because we have access to the second level. You wanna know why, guys? Because we're the boss. Like a boss. I can't say that as good as other people can, but like a boss. Like a boss. But, but, but. Like a boss. We're gonna go in this room like a boss. Kill some booze like a boss. Drink some booze like a boss. Rhyme a rhyme like a boss. Waste some time like a boss. All yours, but none of mine. Like a boss. Anyway, we circled the whole fucking building. I don't know where to go. I'm sorry. Okay. If we don't figure it out relatively soon, I will look it up. So I'm not wasting your time. Or... I will do a near naked dance on a table wearing clear fucking heels, dog. No, I'm kidding. That'd be terrible. Could you imagine? Clear heels? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how good I am at that wall kick. Bump it. Yeah, that's right. We're kicking this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, there's coffins now. There be coffins. <gasps> no! There's a whole upper level of this shit now, dude. Okay. Red coins. Fuck me. Four. Okay. I don't want to fall through the floor tonight. 
Just give me a big boo to fight. Uh huh. There's some coffins that's giving me a fright. Every time I come to the mansion, it's night. And I don't wanna put up with your shit, yo. There's a red coin, I'm going for it, yo. There's two coins, two more to go. Oh no. How do I summon boo? Uh, okay, that's okay. We're already almost. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. This guy didn't come up for me, so do I just. Hi. Okay, I know there's a trick in here. There is something you do in here. Um, cause see, look, only some of these move up. So wait a minute, what am I, what am I doing here? Oh shit! Holy shit! Okay. Let's go explore some other rooms. Look, there's one at the end here. What do you think the room in the end leads? Oh shit. Oh shit. Big books. Jesus, I'm kind of getting freaked out. I heard some noises. I'm so... I don't know. I feel like such a sissy right now. Oh, yeah. Look, look, look. That's the other one you do wall jumps to. I found you out, dog. You couldn't hide forever. Fuck you. Why am I so terrible at this wall jump now? Fuck. I'm hurting myself as I fucking try to do my wall jumps. Yeah, we did it, dog. High five. Oh... That's how we fight ourselves, boo. It's the cat. That's why I'm freaking out. So I'm freaking out like a sissy. Yeah. Oh, well, that's just a little boo, though. Where the big boo's at? Where the big boo's at? Where the big boo's at? Open the doors. <gasps> boo! That's such like an unintimidating sounding name, like boo. But look, we totally found our boo. He's such a nasty ass looking character, too, huh? Such a bitch. How do we get up there? Fuck you, dude! How am I supposed to get up there? No, I'm fucking serious! Oh, shit! Fuck me. That wasn't a good long jump. Okay! Leap of first, bruh! We did it! We did it! Come on! Long jump! Mario, you dick! Just. Do the long jump like a sane man. Like a boss. Pay some tax. Look at that. We're doing good. I can't see from this perspective. <laughs> I'm trying so hard right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Gently tilt, tilt the control stick until it is convenient for you to do your stuff. <gasps> Extra man. Oh, yeah. Guess what time it is, guys. It's time that Will's for the win. Yeah. Woo! We are so close to the red coin star though, but if I remember correctly, the way that this 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 cube of puzzledness and tricky traps work is that now that I have defeated the boo, which I hope was the first star, that should open the stairs on the first level, which would mean collecting the eight red coins will become a trivial matter now. God damn it! Big collect the first star because I'm a fucking idiot there's something I'm not doing cat hey behave she's shaking my TV I don't know if you can hear the creaky cracklings but okay let's try and just get our eight coins we're gonna be some dignified motherfuckers we're gonna did -de it -de all right, we'll get the ones on the bottom floor last, because we a boss. We like conducting business to a certain standard that is not held by anybody to the caliber of which we handle our business. Do you understand me? You understand me? Come on. Yeah, combination's the same as the first time. Play song. That's right, I'm whispering to you. Are you saying that we're on a non-whispering basis? Because last time I checked, we were supposed to be friends, goddammit. But, you know, you have earned the reputation in our circle of friends to be a bit of a blabbermouth. So I, I understand if you're the type of person who can't hold things in to save your fucking life. So see, when I tell you something in confidence, yeah. When I tell you something in confidence, hey, guess what, insert person's name. If 
If you could keep a secret, I'm gonna tell you the biggest fucking secret in the world, like where fucking treasure is hidden. Cause you know, talking about hidden treasure is like a class A DEFCON 7 type of discussion with your friends that you talk about. Because it's fucking treasure, you could be rich and set up for fucking life. What am I talking about? Good lord, the cocaine has gotten to me my friends. I don't know what I'm talking about. Red coins, gimme. Give me red coins, yeah. oh yeah baby. Give it to me, baby. Give me Goroy. How many red coins do we have? Four. We have four red coins. Okay, come here. I don't know if you have a red coin in your eyeball, but we're gonna check. We're gonna promptly probe your balls. <laughs> we're going to grope your balls and find the red coins in your sacks. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. That's unprofessional. Kind of fucking disgusting. If you know what I mean, Shirley Sheen. I don't know where this little thing here leads. Holy sh! Holy shit! Okay. Do you see what I see? No, I don't see. Do you see I see? Okay. We need three more, right? Holy shit! <gasps> There's one in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're in the boo funhouse. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's going over, but we ended the last video kind of early, so I'll make it up to you guys today, okay? Okay? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. We well, as your friend. I'm your motherfucking spokesman now. Okay. Okay. I have a story to tell you. Okay, I don't know if I actually have a story to tell you. Did you ever get in a fight as a kid? Like... Like, what I mean by that is, is, is not necessarily your, you know, slappy, pushy, shove, shit talk type of fight, but like, have you, has anyone ever, like, raised your fists to someone? Like, like, literally, like, okay, this person's starting shit with me, let's throw it down. Has, uh, have you ever had an experience like that? And, and, and I bring it up just because it's like, it's, it's weird, but like, you know, nobody, for the most part, most people, I should say, most people don't have like an actual intense experience that they like fucking, you know, I don't know, like it's never as big of a deal. It's kind of dramatized when you hear him talk about it. But if we're honest with ourselves, how intense was the experience? If you have one. See, I've, I've gotten in like physical fisty fights, fisty cuffs. It's gone to that point where gentlemen take off the gloves and throw them at each other. Admittedly, they were not of the brawniest or the bravest type of category, but you get what I mean. I know what the last coin is. But yeah, um, there was one fifth grade, this this kid just didn't like me. Um, and he was actually like a really fat kid. He wasn't really a bully. He was just like, he was so mad one day. And we started talking and shit, and he got so mad at me because I don't remember what it was. I think it was something about an opinion I had on Star Fox. It... All arguments stem from Star Fox, by the way. So, yeah, he was he was so mad at me because of Star Fox or something or another. And, you know, he was talking shit to me on the way to math. Mrs. Coletti's math. And he was like, something, something, something. Falco's stupid. You're dumb for liking Falco and all this bullshit. So he starts socking me in the back. I give the guy an uppercut and kind of knock the air out of him. He gives me a punch straight in the jaw, and we both go down. And the math teacher runs out, flipping shit. She just, like, loses her shit, sends us both to the office. The gym teacher came, sweat us. Okay, let me reiterate this, though. I'm not dramatizing it. That's how... It wasn't intense. They reacted strongly, but the actual altercation was not an intense encounter. But it was weird. But that's like the closest I've ever really gotten to fight. I've had people get in my face and talk shit to me, but I always walk away because unless it's really worth it, unless someone's like, you know, trying to attack my family or some shit, I'm going to try and avoid that that fight. But at any rate, you know also, also what I'm going to try and avoid is letting my videos run too long because I don't know if you noticed, but it's 14 minutes and I will see you on the next video. Take it easy.